everyone, it's 6 o'clock in the morning and we are off to Heidelberg. from Rothenburg and we are traveling with my Eurorail pass. So my Eurorail adventure starts today and here's my Eurorail pass. This is a global pass and it entitles me to travel within 28 countries in Europe for a number of 15 days within two months. That's the first stamp. So it's still dark outside and it's very cold and uh, right now I'm trying to figure out where all I'm gonna go in the next two months with my Eurorail. This is the map that I have and uh, right now we are in Bavaria and we're going to Baden-Baden but I think for the next few weeks we'll be going to Vienna and many other beautiful European countries which we haven't covered as yet and uh, I'm very excited to go to Heidelberg today and show you guys the Heidelberg castle because it has been on my bucket list for a long long time. So we are on board Ice Train Germany. This is the most amazing train of Germany and we have uh, taken the train from Wurzburg station. We have to change two more trains to reach Heidelberg. In all five trains from Rothenburg, three and a half hours but it's a smooth journey. We don't know that one and a half hours have gone already and uh, it's just two more hours. But this train is amazing. You should look at the train. I'll take you and show you the train now. I'm really enjoying this train. It's very comfortable and the seats are absolutely comfortable. Harsh, are you enjoying the train? Exactly. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Yeah, and I think it's one of the best trains we've ever sat in. So this is the high speed train of Germany and uh, it can speed up to 300 kilometers per hour and it connects all the major cities in Germany. So that is why we're going from Rothenburg to Heidelberg and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So it's our fourth train. And let's get you on board again. So let's open this kit. Cute souvenirs from Heidelberg. <coughs> that's a postcard. Wow, that's very cute. That's a city map. Christmas market that is starting on the 26th. Sad we cannot attend it because we are here two days earlier. Events highlight. And here we have tickets again. These are our castle tickets, Heidelberg cards, and I guess these are our tickets. So we finally arrived at station Kornmark, and uh, we're gonna take a funicular from here, which is gonna take us all the way up to Schloss Castle. I can show you the route here Borjenbahan route, the funicular experience. We start from here, the Kornmark, we go all the way up to Schloss Castle, Molencure, and then Konig Street. It's time to insert the ticket. I'm going to insert this ticket. So, it's done. It's green. It's open for me. And we're inside, ready to take the ride. This castle is a symbol of romanticism and no doubt this city is called the romantic city and it's very much prominent now because we have seen it with our own eyes and it's so beautiful. Look at the red sandstone ruins. This castle kind of reminds me of Delhi's monuments. I think the red sandstone is kind of very typical to the Humayu storm and Raja Onki Bauli. Right her? Yeah, we are being there. If you remember, yes, we have been to so many monuments and this architecture is quite typical to those monuments as well. It's a beautiful castle. I just love it. Really loving it. Let me take you to the panoramic view. Uh, <laughs> so 
Germany's renowned for its castles, and everywhere there are so many castles. We have been to so many castles till now, and one of our favorites has been Neuschwanstein Castle. But this castle has stopped it because I kind of like the architecture there. We are going inside the first big barrel of Heidelberg. Uh, this is the great barrel, and it is covered under your Heidelberg castle ticket. Sigh of relief. It's so warm in here. Sure, Hush wants me to see something. Okay, so we are finally inside this big barrel and. Uh, it was built in 1591. It is located under the Heidelberg Castle. So once you get inside the castle, you have to take a left and get down to find this big barrel. And it's actually very, very big. Look at this. Look at the chandelier. So Germans and beer go hand in hand, right? So it's proper, it's kind of a restaurant here. Not just a barrel. Beer, the wine there, mule wine, which is very famous during the Christmas time. And I think I'm gonna spend some time here because it's kind of warm and I really need to get my hands a bit warm before I can walk out and take some pictures. So we are going inside the balcony. This castle has a balcony called a royal castle, huh? We're finally done exploring the Heidelberg Castle and it is an amazing castle for sure. So now it's time to go to Konigstuhl, right Hush? We're going to Konigstuhl. I'm going to take the second funicular now and let's see the weather is also better. I'm very happy that the weather situation has improved for now at least. We are getting some nice pictures and let's see. The historic band is red cute. It's very cute. So the bell, did you hear the bell? Now let's see. So we are at Konigstuhl Peak. This 600 meter hill is absolutely gorgeous and if you want better views of the city, Heidelberg city and fewer crowd then you must absolutely hike to Konigstuhl or you can either take funicular like we did and it's better if you take the funicular because the views are amazing and it's actually a great time for us. So we are on our last funicular. It was an impressive journey. So behind, so behind my back you can see the ruined castle. We were there just some time back. The red, the red sandstone castle, ruined castle. And now we are moving towards the old town. It's looking so gorgeous, I can't tell you. Really pretty. Reindeer lights and stars and everything. The decor is so fine. So 
राजा रानी रेस्टोरेंट एंड इट्स वेरी हाईली रेटेड ऑन गूगल सो हम लोगों ने गूगल पर देखा कि कौन सा अच्छा इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट है जिसको अच्छी रेटिंग मिली है एंड वी फाउंड आउट कि ये रेस्टोरेंट बहुत ही अमेजिंग है एंड आई एम रियली लुकिंग फॉर्व टू इट बिकॉज आई हैव इन हैड समोसाज फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम एंड नाउ आई एम रियली लुकिंग फॉर्व टू समोसाज पकौड़ा एंड यमी इंडियन डेलीकेसीज इंडिया की याद आ गई है Now we are going towards the next stop over. That is the old bridge. So the old bridge of Heidelberg connects the old and the new parts of the city. And uh, and I've heard that the old bridge looks like a bit of Prague's Charles Bridge. So I'm really excited to see the bridge. So this was our Heidelberg tour. It comes to an end. It was such an eventful day. We had so much fun exploring all the gorgeous attractions of Heidelberg, especially the castle. I recommend everybody who's coming to Heidelberg to invest in a Heidelberg card. You can experience Heidelberg with the Heidelberg card and uh, you know you can access all the public transportation for free. You can use buses, trams and everything for free and then you can access the castle also and get an entry to the wine cellar also. It's just so worth it. And uh, that is it. I really loved Heidelberg and I hope I can be back to experience the magic of this beautiful romantic town it sure is romantic in every way and uh, hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the bell icon share the video subscribe hope to see you in next video